Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their extensive expenses. But today I have a quick tip for you today and that is on sleep, right? It's a very important topic, something I know a lot about because I actually used to work for a major class one railroad and it was something before I could even start working there was a training exercise. You had to know about different aspects of getting a proper rest, proper sleep, so that you can perform your job. And so today I'm planning on trying to at least sort out why rest is so important, why sleep is so important in your, in your daily lives, and how that affects your business. So let's get into it. The first thing I'd like to tell you about is the 42% rule, right? And that is 42% of your time during a given week should be dedicated to resting of, of some sort, whether that be sleeping at night or taking some type of relax, relaxing break from something. So it doesn't always have to be sleep, right? It doesn't always have to be focused on resting for the day, for the next day, but that average is about 10 hours a day if you're looking at it on a daily scale. Or if you want to save your rest and relaxation and sleep for the weekends, you certainly can make up time, but there is such a thing called sleep debt. And if you're not familiar with it, it's something that really you should look into. And that's, you can have a de deficit in sleep and that can affect your performance. So what are some af uh, effects if you don't practice this? If you don't, pro uh, if you don't look to give yourself the 42%, the 10 hours a day, what could happen, right? I have some, some list, uh, listings uh, of things that could happen. Irritability. Certainly, you could get more irritated or, or be uh, even at a higher, higher level of irritability because you're not resting like you should and your mind isn't being able to focus. And that's the second thing, trouble focusing. How often is it that you have trouble focusing on a particular task or a particular set of tasks that you're doing? And if that is something that, that you find in a, is, is something that you're having a struggle with, then maybe what you should do is take a break, right? Just walk away from it, go take a walk or go do some eating. There are some, some things that you can do uh, at a given moment to better handle your resting and your sleeping exercises in the moment so that you can focus better. So that's the second thing. The third thing, poor memory, right? How often do you forget things? How often is it hard to remember certain, certain facts? Well, could be tied to your level of rest or the amount of time you give your brain to rest. Uh, muscle strain. I certainly could, could attest to this, given in an office environment or given that you're sitting in a chair all day, if you aren't focused on taking breaks or resting, you are going to be uh, strained because you're, you're using your arms or your, your back and you're not, you don't have a right posture, right? Those types of things will contribute to muscle strain and certainly affected your performance because you'll be worried about how sore your muscles are. Uh, the next thing, increased level of chronic illnesses. There are many studies that show that in a heightened level of stress or a uh, uh, hazardous environment produces chronic illnesses. And that's something you want to avoid and the, and the best way to avoid that is to make sure you're practicing a daily regimen of getting the, the breaks or the rest that you need so that you can perform at your best. Last thing I'd like to talk about is how stress directly impacts your work performance, right? So I have a few things here I'd like to talk about, and I did talk about the overall effects of just not getting enough rest, but let's, let's get down to specifics, right? Strain relationships with coworkers and supervisors. How often do you work with people, and if you're not focused on what you're doing and you're, and you're focused on so many other things, that that will cause a lot of tension, not only between you know, people in your, in your household, but between coworkers and supervisors as well as customers, right? Diminish self-esteem and confidence in your performance. You will be your best, your, your biggest pessimist, right? You will look at your performance and say, I know I haven't been resting very well. I know that wasn't the best effort I could give. So you're going to be your biggest critic. Lack of focus, which kind of talks about, which we already kind of talked about, right? You're not going to be able to focus on your job fully. You're not going to, you're going to spend a lot more time doing very simple tasks or things that require a certain amount of time will take longer, right? Trouble processing new information. Now this is a big one, right? 
if you're in business, right, you have to be in a place where you can gather new information, whether it be from a potential customer or a potential uh, supplier or, or any of those things, you have to be able to understand what they're saying, you have to be able to process that and ultimately ask the right questions. If you're unable to process new information, then you won't be able to do that very effectively. Increased likelihood of errors both during analytical and physical tasks um, as well as in addition to just analytical and physical tasks, things that are mental in, in, in processing, right? These things are very important. You're going to make a math error, right? If you're not well rested, you are going to over, you, you, it, it's gonna take you more time, right? To do certain things and you're going to make more errors. I, I, I shudder to think and I, I kind of take a pause here because in a minute, I, I really do feel like a lot of what I'm trying to say really is important because if you look at kind of the space that we're in, right, in, in this era of technology, this video doesn't grow tired. This video always processes the same. It looks the same, it sounds the same to everyone, unless you have, you know, different uh, challenges. But ultimately, as a human being, as a person who processes information and tries to convey a message, your message could be tied up in the lack of sleep and the lack of focus that you have in your job, right? So unlike a computer, unlike something like a video, you can't, you can't skirt around this. You can't just say, hey, oh, it doesn't worry. The only time a computer system or a process that involves a machine fails is if it doesn't have uh, power or there's some kind of mechanical failure, right? Some kind of physical ailment of sorts. It's the same with people except for now you have this idea that you have a brain and that brain can function at varying degrees of performance. Hope that makes sense. The last thing is poor overall health. And we talked about cr uh, chronic illnesses, right? It can produce chronic illnesses, but overall health is a concern, right? If you are straining yourself by not getting enough sleep or, or taking enough breaks and resting, then your health is gonna decline. And that ultimately will physically put you in a place that you don't wanna be in. You'll have to exercise the health plan that you're a part of because you've spent too much time working and not enough time taking breaks or resting. So with that, I just wanna, I wanna kinda wrap up by saying, I really think this is a overlooked topic in a lot of ways, I think a lot of business owners want to try to put in as much time as they can into their business because they believe the return will be great. I believe that if you spend the right amount of time resting and focusing on giving your mind the mental breaks that it needs, that you will have a much more effective business in the time that you do have. So don't rush it. Don't, don't overthink it, right? That's in some sense what you're doing by not resting. Stick to the plan, simplify it, make sure you get the rest that you need, make sure you're at your top performance because if you're not, you're just manufacturing something that isn't the best. So with that, that's all I really have for today. Please comment down below what you think of what I have to say here on rest and, and sleep for that matter. Sleep debt is a real thing, I want you to know about that. I, I experienced that a lot with people in the railroad as I worked with them. If they weren't rested, we'd send them home. That's just a safety issue uh, when it comes to the railroad. Be because ultimately, whether you're uh, out on the field or you're in an office setting like I was, if you don't have enough rest, you're not able to focus on the things that you're the expert on. And two experts coming together, not being able to talk about what their expertise is, is going to produce a product that doesn't actually perform like it should. So uh, with that, that's what I have. Like I said, I'd love to hear what your comments are below. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I'm going to be reviewing a lot of different topics. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things, not just why rest is important to your business, but also financial health. I'm, I'm, I'm starting this series on financial health. You're, you're going to see me interview a lot of different people in the financial services area that have a lot to say about what, what it is we're trying to do in business and why it's important to focus on certain areas of financial health. So I'd love to see uh, you guys back for th those series, as well as please, please like this video. 
send it to your friends. I would love to see my subscriber base grow. I'd love to know topics of discussion that you'd like to hear about because certainly I could talk all day about things that I know, but I know there are things that I can learn. So I'd love to learn from you about things that you'd love to learn about because I will go out, do the research necessary, talk to people and, and, and better understand that and then bring it to you, um, the person who's subscribed to this channel. So would love to see that as well. And please check out my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.